What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking in the Wheel Fix It team. So today this video is, is going to be pretty much a how to, what you need to do to fix it, and uh, simple. We're going to keep it quick. The 2013 Chevrolet truck that I'm working on, a GMC Sierra, that's what I'm working on here. 5.3 motor, automatic transmission, idled really high. Nothing you could do to get it down. The customer had been working on it themselves, replaced throttle body, TPS sensor under the dash, throttle thing. I'm trying to keep this quick. Um, I had to do a little research on this myself and I ended up using, I, I bought a scan tool and I use an Altel, uh, Maxi scan 900 that I bought recently. And I'm going to show you a picture of it real quick. This video, this is what I'm using. Now I, you don't need us, uh, one as advanced as this here, but, uh, this is a, the Maxi scan 900, uh, an 808 will do this a little older 808, but I bought this cause I'm, you know, I'm in this line of work. And so I had to have this to for future projects and stuff. So I went ahead and got this because it's got, uh, it's got, uh, more functions for later on usage. So what I ended up doing was, uh, getting this, which like I said, 808 all tail will work, which is a lot cheaper. You can buy that tool for, you know, if you're, if you're, it's cheaper to do buy this tool and do it yourself than take it to the dealership because they're going to charge you more than what the tool costs. But, um, and I'll, and, and, I'll do another video of what I had to do under the hood. I had to fix some wiring and all that, but you know, I fixed all that first, but what I had to do to this thing was do an idle relearn. And I went in there and, uh, just, just had to go in there to the, to get the VIN number, I had to poke in some stuff. And I just had to, you know, okay. I'm trying to look in this thing here. I had to, okay, this, it was real simple. Um, and the 808 will do this. Like I say, for, for this, this tool was about 600 and something dollars, but you can buy that 808, the older version on Amazon for probably, you know, 250 or 300 bucks. That's going to be what the de the dealership's going to charge you that just the diagnosis. I just had to go through a few options. I had to just let him know what I had for radio and I had a automatic HVAC and it was under this here. And then when I got into the menu, it just gave me what I had. I hit yes. And my camera's not focusing very well. And then all it did was pretty much, I, I don't need to redo it again because I don't want to mess this up, but it would, well, like I say, when I'd start this thing up and touch the throttle, it would just run wide open, like two, like 3000, 3000 RPMs. There's nothing you could do to, to calm it down unless you put it in gear. And when it was all said and done with, I went to the, to, through the, just the rest of the little menu. It's communicating right now with the vehicle. And after I did that, it did a, 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 I went through, uh, to hit, I hit uh, hot functions, boop, like that right there. It makes that little noise. And I had to go to engine control module. And then I went, when I clicked this section right here, I to learn reset. It took 15 seconds for it to do it. And then once I did, I could start this thing up. Idles exactly like it. Uh, the battery's a little weak cause I've been messing with this thing, but, uh, running just like it's supposed to. I hope this quick three minute video saves you a lot of headache, but if you clean the throttle body on these or they sometimes they just lose their program or if you replace any of these components on your own, either the TPS sensor or the throttle pedal position under the dash or throttle body, you really need to perform this idle relearn. And the tool, the, the cheap 808 is the way to go if you're a do-it-yourself person and you're not working on all these vehicles. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit that like, subscribe, and share. If you have any questions, I'll read the comments and be glad to help you. Take it easy. I'm out.